Chapter 694 Absolute Disparity Elder Zhang had only rushed out halfway when he suddenly stopped in his tracks. He had run out with Elder Sun, but Elder Sun had suddenly disappeared in the blink of an eye. The next moment, he was hanged up on the outer courtyard fence like a piece of cured meat. The great human-shaped hole was still rustling with falling dust. As for Elder Sun, his entire body had gone soft. It was unknown whether or not he had fainted. The entire meeting venue fell in absolute silence. Mu Yuang and Mu Fengxian were stunned. Although they had guessed that Lin Ming's strength had sharply risen after breaking through to Revolving Core and that it should be easy for him to jump ranks when fighting, they didn't think that Lin Ming could send a late Revolving Core martial artist flying with just a flick of his finger. Even Mu Kianyu, who had heard about Lin Ming's strength from the person in question, was bewildered. Her beautiful eyes wide and bright. Hearing Lin Ming's words was one thing, but seeing it happen in front of her was another. Elder son, Sheng Yang was frightened. He had never even dreamed that such a scene would occur. He quickly used his soul force to investigate what the dangling elder son situation was like. His bodily true essence had shattered apart, and all the bones near the right side of his chest had been broken to pieces. It was obvious that elder son had been struck by a massive blow to his right chest. But, just how had Lin Ming made this attack? Sheng Yang could only feel a chill crawl down his spine. All he had managed to see was a flash of azure light past his eyes. Lin Ming hadn't even taken out his weapon. All he had done was to send that elder son flying was to flick a single finger. Elder son's cultivation was at the late revolving core realm. Although it was impossible for him to reach life destruction in his life, he wasn't much weaker than the late revolving core Xin Yang. And, Xin Yang didn't dare to say he could easily defeat Elder Sun, much less send him flying with a flick, like Lin Ming had done. Recalling the power of that finger just now, Xin Yang was frightened. He hadn't even been the target, but he still felt as if a massive will pressure was pressing down between his eyes, into his spiritual sea. Even his soul trembled from the terrifying feeling. Xin Yang looked at Lin Ming, feeling faint of heart. Second uncle. Just what was that? Xin Yang's second uncle was the present first stage life destruction elder. He was Xin Yang's god uncle, Xing Zizen. He had come to the negotiations to help shore up Xing Yang's prestige, but he had never imagined such a matter would occur. He hesitated for a moment before saying, this should be a type of spear wind formed from some kind of extraordinary technique. In truth, what Lin Ming had just used was his battle spirit. However, the battle spirit was something that only emperor-level powerhouse and peak emperor-level talents could ever touch upon. Normally, only holy lands with a profound history had some sort of inheritance regarding battle spirits. Yin Yang Profound Palace was a newly promoted fifth grade sect. Their history was shallow. From the very beginning, Xing Zizen had never even heard of a battle spirit before. Ching Zizen continued to analyze the situation. There are some special cultivation methods such as Divine Sword Sex Blue Yang Sword Law where one could forge and form several sword energies within their body to constantly improve it. In a critical moment, they wouldn't even need to use their swords, and could instead shoot out these sword energies to kill others. Moreover, the strike power behind them is immense. It could even be stronger than that person's all-out attack. Perhaps this boy's attack was done using a similar cultivation method. Listening to Xing Zizen's reasonable analysis, Xing Yang relaxed. What Lin Ming had done just now did seem like a similar cultivation method, and indeed, he had heard of this before. Although it was extremely powerful, it also had several flaws. First, one could store a limited number of these sword energies. They cost a great deal of time and effort to improve, and once they were used they would simply disappear. If Lin Ming had used a spear energy that he had cultivated for a long period of time to injure Elder Sun like this, then Sheng Yang could also accept that. If he gathered all of his potential and energy to strike, then he could also achieve a similar result. Ching Zizen and Sheng Yang used true essence sound transmissions to speak with each other. That Elder Zhang who followed Elder Sun hadn't heard any of this. Facing such a violent Lin Ming, he was dumbfounded. Elder Zhang couldn't rush forwards, but he couldn't retreat either. The words that he had previously spoken were too prideful and arrogant. If he allowed his face to be ruined here, then how could he ever hold his head up high in front of the juniors of Yun Yang Profound Palace? At this time, Lan Xing chortled and said, Are you coming or not? What happened to all your bluster just now? Lan Xin felt that Lin Ming sending that elder son flying back with just a flick of a finger was very normal. She made sure to not forget to mock this frightened elder Zhang. After having his weakness poked by others, elder Zhang became extremely angry. He glared at Lan Xin, calculating the situation in his heart. Dealing with that finger-flicking boy was definitely not good, but dealing with this ridiculous yellow-clothed girl shouldn't be a problem. As long as he could mess with her a bit, then he would be able to restore some of his lost face. Thinking of this, Elder John coldly snorted and said, Little girl, you've gone too far. Do you really think that you are unrivaled in this world? This old man will teach you to know your place. Lan Qing laughed and said, I never said that I would deal with you. I said that if you could approach you within three feet then you'll win. Right. Duan Mu Kun. Hearing Lan Xin kick the ball towards him, Duan Mu Kun helplessly shook his head. But now that things had reached this point, he certainly wouldn't sit around and watch Lan Xin needlessly suffer. Elder Zhang looked at Duan Mukun and his heart started beating rapidly. He wasn't able to see through this fellow's cultivation, but his intuition told him that he was surely an astonishing character. Did these three people use some kind of secret skill to hide their cultivation? Just how strong were they really? Elder Zhang hesitated to do anything. But at this moment, Xing Yang's true essence sound transmission echoed in his mind. Elder Zhang, you don't have to be afraid. That boy just now used some secret ability similar to the Blue Yang Sword Law to defeat Elder Sunday. His strength isn't as amazing as you think it is. Blue Yang Sword Law, hearing Xing Yang's true essence sound transmission, Elder Zhang was startled. Divine Sword Sect was near their profound province, so he naturally knew of the Blue Yang Sword Law. So it was like this. Elder Zhang solemnly glanced at Lin Ming, feeling relieved. It must have been a similar secret skill. 
Otherwise, with Lin Ming's early revolving core cultivation, just how was it possible for him to send Elder Sun flying away with a flick of a finger, thinking like this? Elder Zhang felt some fear, but he wasn't too terrified now. Of course, even if Lin Ming used some kind of trick, Elder Zhang knew that he still could in no way be Lin Ming's match. After all, the strength of that spear energy was a reflection of the user's strength. He decided to target Duan Mukun and Lan Xin instead, getting within three feet of you, good. Very good. Are the juniors of this era always so arrogant? I'll see just what you can do as I approach you. Elder Zhang seemed brimming with confidence, but the truth was that he was in a critical situation. After learning from Elder Sun's example, he certainly didn't dare to relax his guard. He revolved all the true essence within his body and extracted the thick saber from his back. Then, he rushed towards Lan Xin and Duan Mukun. As he shot forward, he paid particular attention to what Lin Ming was doing. Seeing that Lin Ming's hands were crossed over his chest with no intention of helping, Elder Zhang breathed a sigh of relief. It's only approaching them. It shouldn't be too difficult. As Elder Zhang thought this, he stimulated all of his bodily protective true essence. He didn't believe that this strange white-clothed youth was also a freak like the finger flick fellow just now. This sort of targeting juniors, and especially bullying the weak while avoiding the strong, was extremely despicable. Even Sheng Yang found this hard to look at. Duan Mukun was calm as he brought his hands forward from behind him. As Elder Zhang was thirty feet away, a sharp light suddenly flashed in his eyes. The next moment, he formed a sword with his fingers and a fierce sword energy savagely shot out, creating sword lights so brilliant that they were hard to look at. Rushing forward, Elder Zhang only felt a turbulent energy come at him, as if it would be able to split him in half. His expression suddenly changed. On instinct, he slashed out with his saber. This saber strike was Yin Yang Profound Palace's mountain-breaking technique. Saber light filled the skies like snow as it was used. However, as the saber light and sword energy collided, a strange distortion suddenly appeared in space. The saber lights were pulled into the strange twisting space, bending, until finally, with a loud cracking sound, the bent saber lights were completely sliced apart by the sword energies, shredded to pieces. The next moment, sword energy smashed into Elder Zhang's chest. Elder Zhang gave a stuffy cough as his bodily true essence broke apart. He flew backwards, his entire chest wet and dripping with blood. Following this scene was a deafening silence. Lin Ming was also slightly surprised. Duan Mukun was in truth a two-star fei king, that was equal to a middle revolving core martial artist. His cultivation wasn't much worse than Elder Jiang's. Thus he was easily able to defeat him. Lin Ming wasn't surprised that Duan Mukun easily won. No, what he found interesting was the concept of space that was imbued into Duan Mukun's attack. Their respective concepts of space had taken entirely different paths, but both were incomparably exquisite styles. Originally, Duan Mukun already had some understanding of the concept of space, but after gaining experience by passing through the ancient transmission array, his progress in that aspect had increased by leaps and bounds. Lin Ming couldn't help but admire Duan Mukun's talent. Mu Yuang and Mu Fengxian also looked at Duan Mukun with amazement. Duan Mukun seemed to be in his twenties, but he actually had a strength of a peak revolving core master, no worse than Lin Ming, just as Duan Mukun was already like this, and looking at Feng Shen and Lan Xin, neither of them seemed like common geniuses either, were they all Lin Ming's friends? Mu Fengxian and the others hadn't been able to discover Duan Mukun, Feng Shen, and Lan Xin's cultivation level, so they hadn't paid too much attention to them, but, thinking about it now, did these three people come from the four divine kingdoms? It wasn't just Mu Yuang that thought this, but Xing Yang and Xing Zizin as well, Duan Mukun, Feng Shen, Lan Xin, and Lin Ming. Altogether four youngsters. Were they all emperor-level talents? This year, had emperor-level talents become common to this degree? Were they growing around like cabbages or something? Sheng Yang's expression was dismal, as if he had taken a great blow. He originally had pride in his own talent that barely qualified him as an emperor-level talent, but now facing Lin Ming and Duan Mukun, all of his pride had been shattered. Whether it was Lin Ming or Duan Mukun, neither was weaker than him. Both were actually stronger than him. Ka, Sheng Yang extracted a thick crimson saber that looked as if it was on fire. In Yin Yang Profound Palace, it was custom for men to use sabers and for women to use swords. I admit that you are strong. Very well. I will fight you with everything I have. Sheng Yang pointed his treasure saber straight at Duan Mukun. His treasure saber was a peak high grade earth step weapon, forged from refined fire gold. It was just a single step away from being a heaven's kept treasure. And, most importantly, it had an additional function of boosting fire attribute cultivation methods. It was the best weapon for him to use. Sheng Yang had chosen Duan Mukun as his opponent after a long period of careful consideration. Before, Lin Ming had only used his spear energy to attack. So the true depth of his strength was still unknown. He didn't dare to risk fighting him at this time. If he lost, then any face still he had would be swept away. If he was facing Duan Mukun, Xing Yang still had some confidence in himself. 